Hi, I'm Spicy Tuna Guy, and this is my base design called Carl's Castle. Now, Carl's Castle is made to be strong, compact, and comfortable. With lots of storage, with also having a lot of doors, so raiders can't get in that easily. This is the upkeep for the base. This is the amount of materials it takes to make. And, don't worry, this workbench in the middle is easily able to be jumped over without no problem. Now you can fit about solo, duo, or trio in here, maybe even a quad, but this base is not for zergs, obviously, as you can see. I made sure to maximize as much space as possible. All these boxes are easily accessible if you want to jump on the workbench. Even without jumping on the workbench, you could still loot them all. Now I made this base specifically for those that need a lot of space, but they don't want to take up a lot of area and bring a lot of attention. So this base looks innocent enough on the outside. You think like, oh, there's there's no one like that special living in this. Like, look at it. But when you go inside, look at all that space. This is waiting for you to stuff it all with guns and explosives. And it's easily defendable, because I mean, what you can do is you can basically, they come through the door, you can go right here, basically cover. And if you have a shotgun, it's even better, because then you can just go... You know what I'm saying? You can also hide on the side of the locker. Like that. And if you want to, you can remove some of these boxes and then hide in here. And then when they try and go into TC, you just go open up the garage door. Another thing is, is that it keeps the raider guessing because they can still splash all these garage doors, but there's one thing. If you want to, you can remove this box here, put a turret there. If you're that type of person. Now I'd say this is a good idea, but you gotta be careful because you never know if they're actually already expecting a turret. So yeah, a turret can fit there, and a uh, generator can fit there as well, if you put it in this position. What? Oh, it was fitting like three seconds. It doesn't matter, you can put a solar panel up on the roof, you can fit a turret in here, and that's all that matters. And this base is also highly customizable. You could change this to a loot room, a better loot room, because people got better loot rooms. You could change this into a research room, furnace room, even though you've already got two down here. Another thing you can do is basically remove the roof. Now, knowing, now I'm, you're probably like, why would I remove the roof? Well, I'll tell you. You remove the roof, you can do something amazing. Move the roof, place it with a wooden frame, or hatch. What you can do is you can climb up, and then you can create an amazing defense. Easy roof access with a lot of viewing. You can see 360 degrees around, easily accessible right in the middle of your base. And when the raid, when you feel like you're gonna lose the raid, you just climb up here, close the door, and then sneak up on them from behind. When they're least expecting it. 
And that, guys, is my base is on. I hope you guys enjoyed. And also, don't forget when you're making these shelves, you b before you add honeycomb, you gotta do this tactic in order to add the shelves. Just remember that. And here is the main footprint, just so you guys know. You have to make sure the foundation is all the way to the floor. Raise it up one. Raise it up one. On this side as well. And then. And that is the footprint. It's small, but as you can see inside, it's small, but it's mighty. And that's what counts. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.